Welcome to the demo of the Content Analysis Module for Drupal. My name is Tom McCracken, and I'm going to be walking you through how to extract keywords from your content, and how to quickly and easily find terms for node tagging. The Keyword Analysis Module is a keyword extractor. Basically what that means is it takes content and pulls keywords from that content. The way that this is most typically used would be when you're on a node and you want to know what types of keywords am I using in my content so I can easily tag that content. The Keyword Analysis Module integrates with the Content Analysis Module, which allows us to look at node content and pull back keywords. So I just click this button, and here's a node that I've written uh, or I've, I've put together from Wikipedia that's about mountain biking, and it comes back with a list of keywords that it's actually finding about mountain biking. Now the other thing that I've done, if you were to just use the Keyword Analysis Module by itself, you would just get this list. The second thing that I've done is I like to use a Keyword Analysis Module with the Keyword Research Module, which then enables these JavaScript uh, little tools um, that I can actually do more research. So let's say, for example, that I see the word mountain biking. I want to know, is that a good tag? I can click this in the Keyword Research Module and now go out and come back with, well, how many times a day are people searching for this information? How competitive is this word? And so is this something, particularly from an SEO standpoint, search engine optimization standpoint, is this really a keyword that I want to focus on? Um, then when I find some keywords I want to focus on, the Keyword Research Module also gives us an easy way that I can just go ahead and tag some of these things. Um, so let's tag downhill, mountain bikes, um, these kinds of things. And then when I go ahead and close, I'll see that it's automatically adding it to my tagging vocabulary up here. And so that's really the main use case I see for the, uh, for the keyword analysis module. And the other thing that I'll allow you to do is you can go and look at uh, just freeform content. So if I go over to the keyword analysis page, I can look at some freeform content. And so uh, I was just going to paste in some content. This is um, a Wikipedia page uh, about Richard Feynman. And click on it, and you see it comes back with the Manhattan Project, the Feynman Lectures, uh, physics, the atomic bomb, those kinds of things, things that are related to the content. I also can go out and analyze any page on the web that I want to with this, uh, with this tool. Um, so for example, let's go ahead and put in, uh, let's go ahead and just look at drupal.org. Um, and it'll pull back. Uh, it pulls back the page and comes back and says, oh, well, Drupal, surprisingly, is uh, the word Drupal is used a lot on that word. Uh, right now, there's some articles up there about the Denver Public Library, social news platform, Annenberg Social News. Um, and so in this manner, you can actually pull content from any page on the web. A few housekeeping items. Uh, there are some requirements for the module. You would need to use the content analysis module. That basically provides the UI for the module, and so uh, that's what integrates it into the node edit form, allows it to go and fetch URLs and provides that pop-up dialog box. The other thing is you're going to need a, oh, there's an open source script. The algorithm that uses to extract keywords is found in a uh, something called the auto keyword. It's just a free library, and if you see the keyword analysis project page, it'll tell you what the URL is to download that. And that's what's kind of interesting about this module is it's very fast, it happens locally on your server. There are additional keyword extractors out there. Uh, th three of the most popular ones are Alchemy, Open Calais, and the Yahoo Term Extractor. There are Drupal projects for using those systems also. Um, but the thing that's interesting about all three of those is that they have to send content out to a third-party website via an API, and then the keywords come back in response. Well, that A takes some time to happen. Sometimes it might, it might take uh, you know 10 seconds or so to happen. Not normally a lot of time, but it takes a certain amount of time. And then some people don't want to be sending all their content to a third-party website. There also might be some limitations as far as how many a day you can send, although really all three of those are, are limitations for the free versions, but they're all very high. Uh, I think several, you know, several hundred to thousands a day you can send over. Um, but if you want to just do some basic keyword extraction locally, that's what the keyword analysis module does. There are a couple of other modules I would recommend using with it. One is the keyword research module in our demo that we were doing here earlier. Um, that's the, that, I was using the keyword research module, and that was allowing us to do deeper research for looking at search popularity and things like that into the keywords to help me do long tailing, modif looking at modifiers of different ways people might be searching for this keyword, and also gives us the ability to do these little AJAX tools so we can just quickly add it to our node. The other module, which wasn't in the demo, but uh, the other module that you might want to use with is a content optimizer. And really what you'd use that for is once you've decided what keyword you want to optimize a node around, the content optimizer will tell you how well have you optimized that, that content for that particular keyword.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demo of the keyword analysis module. And until next time, happy drupaling.